Greetings everyone, happy Sunday to you. It looks like a storm is ready to brew. It looks like it's coming our way. So that begs the question, is it cruel to train in the rain? Meaning, let me turn around so you guys can see me. I've had a lot of people ask me that. Brian, is it cruel to train if the weather is bad? Well, to even answer that question right off the bat, I have to ask, what is bad weather for you? For me, bad weather happens to be a hurricane, happens to be a tornado, happens to be darn near anything, hail, lightning, anything. Rain? Rain doesn't bother me. I tell you what, I own a few dogs that I swear, if, you, if it's raining, I kid you not, you might as well think that they went outside and they're stepping on a red hot poker. I kid you not, they will not step on wet grass. And if it's raining, they'll shut down anything. So obviously, training those dogs under the conditions of even rain, even a mild rain could be cruel for them, wouldn't be so cruel for me. But so all that being said, you guys just kind of take that into account. What kind of dog do you have? Do you have a hardy dog? Do you have a dog who doesn't care about the rain? My dogs in Alaska didn't care about any of the weather there. None whatsoever. They didn't care. It could be 40 below zero, and they're laying on top of their doghouse, not in their doghouse. But just yesterday, for example, here in the lower 48s, Kira and I were taking a walk yesterday with Captain, and about a mile and a half into a four-mile walk, it poured. No, I, yeah, like everyone else, I checked my weather radar, and it said nothing, not a thing, not a 0% chance of rain. Well, they're not always right. Welcome to technology. It flat poured. So that being said, it wasn't just a little bit of rain. We were soaking wet, and Captain was soaking wet. But because the likelihood of that happening here in the south is, is really more often than what you'd imagine, we had to make sure our dog was absolutely able to perform all behaviors, no matter what they were. Come to me when I call you. Walk with me. You name it, in heavy rain, not just light rain. So again, anytime you, you want to take into account, when should I train, think about when will you use the training? Under what conditions will you use the training? I always say that a dog will only be reliable under the very conditions in which it's trained. And I always want to be the number one signal to my dog. I don't rain suddenly becoming the number one signal. Now my dog pays more attention to it, more attention to the storm brewing behind me, as you can see over my shoulder here, than me. If that's the case, make sure you never subject your dog to these type of conditions because you will not have any reliability or any experience to base any sort of reliability uh, boss that you might have with your dog. You won't have anything. So your, your hope that your dog will obey you is exactly that, it's just a hope. So me, kind of like the old saying, train as you fight and fight as you train. I'm gonna take my dog out into every condition that I think I might encounter while out with my dog. Always keeping in mind, safety, number one. Dogs don't handle humid conditions like we humans can. They don't handle hot weather like we can handle it. They're different. Their temperature is higher than ours, typically 101.5 to about 103. So always take safety into consideration. You don't want to be out there if there's hail coming down, lightning, God's sake, a tornado or a hurricane. Woo! That, I'm not doing that kind of training. You may, not me. No, I don't want to wind up in the land of Oz. And as a matter of fact, I kind of joke around with everyone all the time and call my wife the great and powerful Oz because she sits at home with all these monitors and everything and does all the technical stuff behind the scenes here for Tame the Wild and, and gets people to put their foot in the front door and then I'll kind of take it from there. So, but that's as close to Oz as I want to get. Okay, so that being said, I think that if you're going to encounter rain anytime you're out with your dog and you need your dog to obey you in rainy conditions, then you need to get out there and train a little bit in rainy conditions. You know, eventually, if you do it, even our dogs, we just don't, they're, they're tiny, it doesn't matter. I could care less if they don't like the rain or not, but Captain, I do. So that being said, make sure that you do train in those conditions, because you may have to fall back and you may need it. Uh, so I'm gonna do it, keep safety in mind. I recommend you guys do the exact same thing. A Little bit of water ain't gonna hurt anybody. Heck no, in fact, Captain normally needs a bath every now and then. So there's nothing like a little bit of walk in the rain. So that's my advice to you. A, anytime you, any, you think about when I should train or what I should train, think down the road. Think, what would I 
ever, under what conditions would I ever use this training? Always picking battles big enough to matter, small enough to win, and always keeping safety in mind. Okay, well, as you can see over my shoulder here, I just felt a drop, my first drop. So, Captain, <laughs> let me turn it around here so you can see old cattle dog. There you go, buddy. You ready to train? Yeah, man. We're going to do a little training right here, right now. Take advantage of this, but the first time I see a lightning bolt, I'm going to tell you what. I'll beat Captain back to my front door. You can guarantee that. Guys, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. As always, if you found this information beneficial, please share it. And also, if you have a question of your own you'd like to send in to me, I'll be glad to answer it. Send it my way to brian at tamethewild.com or just drop it down here on the feed. All right, guys. Check you out tomorrow. Take care.